Hey, hey, hey. All right. We're, we're back. Here we are. And I thought what I might do just to ease myself back into some gaming is share with you a few things that uh, arrived in the house while I was out of town. And <clears throat> some of them are a little uh, esoteric, even... Well, not even for me, because I'm not a really particularly innovative game player. But uh, just picked up some stuff that I thought I might like to uh, either reacquire or uh, or explore, uh, given that there'd been some you know conversation about them at some point or the other. So here we go. First one, and it's way back in the house, back in the house days, uh, Napoleon at bay. I think this is the uh, actually the second edition. Uh, this is the Avalon Hill version, and uh, it it's the progeny, the progeny. It's not the progeny. It's the uh, originator of the series. That's at that kind of higher scale, not the Napoleonic Library of Battle scale, but more in the vein of the one x, two x, three x operational scale, true operational scale. Uh, Napoleonic's titles. So you've got hex sizes that range from uh, basically a kilometer to two or three or four kilometers. And so I, I wanted to get that one mainly because it's one of the one of the two that I don't own yet. And I quite enjoy, although they are frustrating sometimes, uh, I quite enjoy Zucker's view of operational combat and supply and morale and you know, break down and put back together and the, the combat system that works there, actually his combat system actually works at that scale, I think, better than it does down at the the tactical scale, which is just all kind of foobard for me. <clears throat> all right, I think I may have shown this to you. I don't know if I did or not. I picked up uh, Herman's uh, Polynesian War, read the rules on the on vacation uh, and Pretty straightforward. I think we'll just be able to walk through that and play it as we read the rules. I've skimmed it once, so we should be good to go with that bad boy. And uh, then, uh, <clears throat> only because I like the box art, and maybe because it could be a curiously interesting game, I picked up SS America. Uh, I probably, I'm sure I overpaid for it. A uh, friend of a friend was selling off his collection for various reasons, not playing anymore or something like that. And, uh, you know, look at that art, right? You've got Washington, D.C. in flames. You've got the Nazi flag on the front there. And the Germans have worked out how to build a Navy. Who knows, right? So I'm sure there'll be a disaster of a game, but maybe not. Maybe it'll be awesome. Uh, so that's partially punched. It's in really nice condition. And then this guy, you know, this has got a tiny, tiny rule book. Very thematic. I'm pretty excited about this one. I've I've seen it played before, but I haven't played it myself. And for a solo game, I think that's cool. So that's two new solo games in the house for me. It's pretty awesome. And last but not least, one that I think will give you all a little bit of a curveball action. Yeah, Outdoor Survival, baby. That's what I'm talking about. The game you can never win. The first adventure game. Outdoors. <laughs> I don't even know why I picked this up. It's a horrible game, and uh, uh, but I played the hell out of it. That's how much I knew about games when I was 17, 18, and 19. It's just, the, oh, I'm going to survive if I could just get to the reindeer icon on the map. Hey, you know, I wonder if that's where that lady who made the map for that Finnish Civil War game got the idea for the, uh, got the idea to put reindeer on the, on the map. Here they are. <laughs> See the little reindeer and or deer, or whatever they are, you know, wildlife. Get the wildlife, you get some food, you can survive. Oh, it's tragic. And then you've got these dinky, you've got all these counters, I think that's the, that's the counters right there. Hey, there's two teams. There's Team Blue and Team Yellow. What would people think of back then? All right. That's all I had for you, it's just a quick one. I'll talk to you guys later.